Okay. Who's it playing? No, because these guys are so over the top, bro. Like, why why did these cunts react like they got jump scared? Like, chill, guys. I get it's it's tense, but it's not that that's this reaction's over the top. Like, chill. That's a shame. Bro, this track goes unbelievably hard though. I don't know who made it, but fucking respect. <laughs> Bro, nah. Why did he sound like Link just then? Bro, bro, tell me that. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Trolltech here for another video. I will be doing a BTS album. Well, it's not really a BTS album. It's a Jimin album because people have been asking for this. So this is Jimin's solo art album face. Um, so we're going to be reacting to this album, obviously, but we're not going to be, we're not going to be reacting to every song because two of the tracks on the album are like crazy and, um, and set me free, which we have reacted to in the past already, like set me free part two, sorry. Um, we've already reacted to those. Uh, so uh, I don't see a point in doing it again. Um, so we're just going to be doing face off interlude dive alone, like crazy, the English version, and then letter, which is, I believe a song aimed towards, yeah, it's aimed towards I'm because it's called letter D army. So one, two, three, four, five songs, basically. So I guess without further ado, let's get in to Jimin's album, shall we? So we'll start with Face Off. Here we go. Okay. Give me that Stardew Valley vibe. I don't know why. Interesting. Okay, it's shifted. It's shifted. Okay, that was a that was a big shift. Right. Oh. Oh, that's that's good. Hmm. Bro, bro. Jimin's voice, man, is so, so interesting. Like, he has such an interesting voice. Because it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to contextualize what it's like. He's just, it's so, I've never heard a voice like his. You know what I noticed though? Jimin loves like the, like the get it out. You know that type of type of tone like this here, like here. Like break it down, break it down, get it out, get it out. You know, like that little that kind of vocalization. I've noticed he really likes that because he did a lot of that in like his um like Set Me Free Part Two. There was a lot of that style, which is really interesting. Get it out. Like this, I could, this is a type of song that you could hear like playing in the club for sure. Now pour it down. Get it out. His ad libs though, next level. Whoever, whoever worked on this track as well, fucking banger. 
like the beginning of this track where it like it switches from like this Stardew Valley vibe to like club music is so seamless as well. I, I don't know. I just feel like this is such a like, this is such like a twerk body roll song. You know what I mean? Maybe because it's Jimin, I'm thinking that because Jimin is Jimin, but I don't know. It just gives me that vibe. Like this is a type of song, you know, like in a movie, like the main character walks into a club and like people are pouring drinks on, on titties and like, body rolling and like you know that this is the song that plays in that scene i feel like no but get down get it out i love that like get it out get it out i love that part Like, this is such a, like, singing, this, this song is so, like, singing, sing alongable. Is that a word? Is that a, you know what I mean, though? Like, it's so, it's such a, like, you can sing along to it so easily, this song. That's what I like about it. Like, you can be so smashed, but still kind of remember the words. It's one of those songs. Like, you could, just, you could be smashed and be like, get it, uh, get it, you know what I mean? Bro, I'm really impressed by whoever produced this though. Such a good track. Okay. 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 I really like that, bro. I really like that. I really see these are the type of like I don't mind dancey kind of songs, but I like these more dark energy style. See, this is fine. Like this type of song, even though it feels like a song that would play in a club, I don't I actually am like vibing with it because it has like this dark energy to it and jimin's like vocals man is just crazy like his falsetto and just like high notes are just next level okay here we go dive interlude by jimin let's play sounds like a like a car driving Drifting or something. It well, kind of sounds like Tron. I don't know if anyone remembers, remembers that movie. Ooh. Okay. Is that, bro, I'm really. I don't know who who's producing these songs of Jimin's, but I'm really liking the shift in the the tracks. It's so smooth. Like it, it shifts from one sound to something completely different, but it's done so smoothly. Now it sounds like this jazzy lo-fi vibe. Is that Jimin like talking in the background? Wait, I just want to re-listen to that. Yeah, I think that's like Jim and like muffling, muffled, like speaking in the background. It sounds like it. I'm not sure. You can't hear it at, like, you can't hear a voice, but you can, it's like this. I don't know. I think it is though. I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Oh, pause. Okay, pause. What's going on? What's going on right now? I'm not even going to say anything. Oh, it's like he's on the stage performing. Yeah, okay. So that little muffled thing was maybe the crowd. Very interesting. This is very interesting, actually. Kind of give me like a Final Fantasy vibe, actually. Like if anyone's played Final Fantasy X, just when you're about to fight the final, like one final boss, Sin, it's like this music. No one understands that reference if you haven't played Final Fantasy X, but I'm sure someone will. Oh, so this is just the track. There's no, it's not, oh, it's an interlude. Okay, fair enough. Interesting. I really like the vibe of this. I really like the vibe. Like the sound. So you can hear like cars in the back and then you have the crowd. So it's like really interesting. Is that a car? I don't know, bro. It's really interesting though. Now it's pouring him. Maybe water, a drink? Not water. I reckon like an alcoholic beverage or something. Oh no, maybe water he's getting ready to perform. Like he's, you know, making sure his throat's not dry. Very interesting. Very interesting. That's very intriguing. I'm trying to figure out like what this means. But that's interesting. I wonder if there's a... Is there a, is there a song of this? Um, nah, it's just the interlude, okay? Okay, really interesting stuff. I have a feeling this is going to be a mad, sad, depressing song, just based on its name and the image that's been used, but let's see. Jimin. It's, it's giving Tokyo Ghoul. Ooh, I love this. Ooh, I love this. this so much like his vocals here as well nah i'm obsessed i'm obsessed right now oh the breathiness in his vocals It almost sounds like a demon kind of taking over him, but then he comes back. That's really interesting. Oh, it almost sounds like a like a a symphony of voices. You know, like kind of being dragged down to hell almost. Like, listen to that. You see what I mean? Really interesting stuff. Bro, I love the artistry of Jimin's music. I'm gonna be straight up. Mm, listen to that, bro. Listen to that. Insane. Mm. 
Bro, the breathiness and like just the kind of darkness in his vocals in this in this song, man. I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this song. I love it so much. Listen to that rhythm as well. Like na 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 na. It just keeps continuing. So good. So good. Oh, did you hear that? The little, ah, ah, ah. that's so good. Wait. Oh, it's like, got Oh, Jimin. Okay, I'll see you, my boy. And night. Make it right. right. It's gonna be alright. I really love this little, like, I don't want to call it a chorus, but I love this part. It's really interesting. I feel like it can be read in so much different ways. Such a cool song. Such a cool song. Like his vocals, lyrics, the track, everything about that was so cool. It's so artistic. I love that, man. I'm, I'm actually obsessed. That's definitely going to be on repeat for the next, I don't know how long. Here we go. Like crazy English version. We've listened to the original. Man, Jimin's so pretty. Fucking look at this, man. How do you not simp for him? <laughs> His vocals are insane. I remember, you know why I remember this song? Because I remember it was like one, maybe one of the first songs I listened to from BTS, Jimin in particular. And I remember being absolutely just being like, is that a girl? Like, I remember this moment. I was like, I couldn't believe that this was a male singing. It was so insane to me. Still is. It's still insane to me. Mm. You know what's really cool about, like, Eng like, you know when the K-pop idols do English music and it kind of has like a dark vibe to it? You know what's really interesting? I think it adds to it. Like, um, like let's say there's an emotional or dark vibey song and then because their English is, I don't want, it's not broken, but the English they've got, it's very accented. So it makes it even like, gives it even a darker vibe. You know, because they've like English is accented and then they're doing it. They're giving like this dark vibe vocal as well. And I don't know. It sounds way cooler than if their English was like sounded perfect. You know, I really like that. Like the mixture of that. If you know what I'm, tr you know what I'm trying to talk about? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? I mean, the stars. Like if you showed to the, if you showed this to any, like if you just played this song to anyone that's not in the K-pop sphere or isn't in, hasn't gone into BTS, I'm telling you, no one would be able to tell that it's a man singing. No one. Bro, I just realized the lyrics are quite, quite crazy. Give me a good night, it's gonna be... Give me a good ride, it's gonna be a good night. That's crazy. Like, what are you riding, Jimin? And, uh, 
Bro, honestly, every song on this album so far, I'm just digging. To be fair though, there hasn't been a single Jimin song where I haven't like just been obsessed. You know what I mean? I love the way he separates like his word, like the letters with his vocalization. Such a banger, bro. Honestly, I like this just as much as the original version. To be straight up with you guys. Which is rare. I usually don't like, like, the customized versions, whether it's from, like, whether it's English or Japanese or whatever, but this is a vibe. Way we can dream on. Mmm. Bro, I swear, BTS loves their heavy breaths in their songs. What's the point? Just in the background. Why does he low key sound like Light Yagami? In the in, in that. Okay, okay, that was nice, clean. That was clean. Honestly, I liked it just as much as the original. Okay, so this is a song aimed towards. Army. Fuck. His vocals, man. I can't get over them. How does a human sound like this? Listen to that, bro. Sounds like this from their mouth. Honestly, this is the one thing I respect about K pop idols these like songs that they make to their fan bases. Like, you could never catch a Western group making a song like this. Bro, his range is insane. It sounds nothing like Jimin either. Like his range is crazy. Oh, I like that. A little like saxophone action. Okay. Nice. I feel like this, this is definitely like, he, he probably made this, um, this is definitely made in lieu of like the whole military thing. Cause he's talking about like, when we meet, we'll use be the same type shit. So it's definitely like a farewell song. Jim and you insane motherfucker. This is so good. Bro, why is every song being a certified banger? Okay. Okay. Okay, Jimin. Mm. 
Nah, this is insane. Jimin is insane. This is going on my like playlist. This is definitely going. This is definitely gonna be spammed in the next couple of days for me. Bro, that whisper like vocalization he does sometimes, love it. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy is a beast, bro. I know his name is Jimin, bro. I'm, I'm, Jimmy is his nickname now, though. That I've declared that I will now from this day call him Jimmy. Crazy. Insane. Insane. Like, his vocals are... Like, they're so insane, you know? Like, it's it's so insane just how nice he sounds at all times. Because, like, obviously, his falsetto is one thing and his high notes, that's a crazy thing. But just the way he can manipulate, like, his range. You know, even though, yeah, he does have a high voice, the way even within those high notes, he has, like, such a large range and you know, difference in the way he vocalizes and the way he sounds. Like, every song, he sounds like a different person. I am so impressed by Jimin, bro. I've always been impressed by him, but, like, I just forgot how crazy he actually is because it's been a while since we checked solo stuff out from him. But, yeah, it's crazy. I, yeah, I'm blown away, man. As always, I'm always blown away by these guys, you know, especially when, when it's that, like, I'm blown away with, by them as a group, but when it's their solo work, you really realize how crazy they actually are and how insane they actually are. Yeah, I'm, I honestly love the album, you know, really enjoyed the album. Every song certified banger. So, yeah, it's a good album, 100% good album. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a shorter album review just because there wasn't a lot of songs on the album and we already listened to like half of the songs on there anyway. Well, not half, two of the songs that were already on there. But yeah, um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.